I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. And this reading will be focused on Amberlynn Reed. Let's look at current energy. Let's see what's going on with her. Is she living with Tommy? Is she going to upload? Is uh, she eating fruit roll-ups? What's happening? Oh, she made a choice. She made a choice, you guys. All right. It's a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only. But let's ask some questions and see what the cards have to say. And if you want to support what I do here and you're not already, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys. I love you. Let's get into this. Let's see what's let's tune in. Buzz me through the blinds of Amberlynn's mind. Bzzz, man, please. Show me. Show me what's representing Amberlynn. What's representing Amberlynn's energy right now? The King of Sword. Okay. Show me a little more. Why is this here? Queen of Wands. Show me a little more. The Lovers. So, I'd say right now, Amberlynn's energy is being represented by this King of Sword. I feel like this is um, Tommy, kind of like taking charge of things. And here's Amberlynn, you know, holding her fruit roll up. She's like, she's like, you know how, hey guys, hey guys, you know what I think? I think all you guys, um, I got a fruit roll up for you. It's right here. <laughs> Leave us alone. We're happy and we're in love. And how dare you judge us? Um, I think some of the stuff that's being said by the reaction channels, um, it might be getting to <clears throat> to them a little bit. Like, they could feel like they don't have control of the narrative, right? And I think that really irritates Amber um, as a creative energy. And also, as, you know, she's found, you know, oh my God, I... You know that song by Shania Twain? You know, I feel like a woman. Dun, 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 dun. Woo! That's what... <laughs> that's what I like. like that. <laughs> Amber is on point, man. She ain't playing around. Um, and she's like... She's like, you guys, you want to see... You want to see more of, you know, some creative... Uh, some, some, some Instagrammies, some Tiki Talks, more of my vloggy vlogs. <laughs> you better recognize this love is true. All right, she's in love. Uh, whatever, man. Uh, and you have this Knight of Cups here. The cats are going bananas. I'm sure. I don't, I'm sure you can hear. Okay, I might have to pause and grab one. If don't go over there. Hey, hey. Mon chéri, tempi. I gotta pause this. I'm a punk. I'm a punk and I do what I want. Oh, I'm a punk. All right, I do. Except crawl up in that thing. You can't do that, punk. All right. I had to stop him from going in a place he shouldn't. Okay. All right, so basically that's current energy of Amberlynn. I mean, and I think this is here because, like... <clears throat> They're keeping certain things to themselves. They're going back and forth about, like, what they want to share. As soon as I start a read, they get, like, the zoomies, you know? All right. And right now, I'm still introducing these two to the million other cats. So they're kind of in my room with me. And also, they're still healing and gaining weight. They've gotten, like, twice the size. 
in such a short time. Oh, yeah, look at this. Love, love, love. All right, I was just thinking and ask, like, going to ask about Tommy. Show me, um, yeah, look, Tommy's all about showing actions of affection and love, uh, sharing the home. Yeah, all right. I'm pretty sure these two are living together, and that will be the next thing we hear. Okay, I had to distract Tempe with a cat toy. Getting a little cuckoos, guys. We have a storm heading here, so they're also active. A little cuckoo. Extra, probably, uh, they can feel it, I'm sure. I'm in Flor Florida. For those of you that don't know, I'm not originally from here, if you, if you can't tell. All right. Tommy's energy. I want to see Tommy's energy, please. What's going on with Tommy's energy? Show me Tommy. Show me Tom. Tom. Tommy. 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 Wandy. Tommy. All right. Let's go this way. I feel like I usually get wand energy for Tommy. I feel like we saw it, a sword energy before because. Amberlynn feels like she's being protected and defended by this person, all right? So, Tommy, feeling like, uh, when I get this card, when I get, like, the Five of Pentacles or the Empress, when I'm doing reads on specifically, like, Amber, like this kind of, you know, Amberlynn, it's like, for me, this is Tommy. <laughs> like, come on, Amberlynn. Come on in the door. I'm going to fix you, you know? With me, you're going to be healed. Like, seeing Amberlynn as someone who is mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually not well. Like, offering them uh, a way out of the cold. A place where you belong. You're going to be taken care of. Come be part of my family. We're going to make memories. Don't worry about those people from the past that didn't work out. Don't worry about... Uh, Casey, uh, Crystal, Destiny, Beck, Wifey, Erica. I see the ears here. You know the person that never really you didn't even you didn't even know you didn't even meet them. What do you worry? Don't worry, worry about that. We're gonna we're gonna make new memories, babes. Cause we're soulmates. You're the love of my life. I can't wait to make you my wife. So, and then we have here this Ace of Wands, this new beginning. Uh, like, I just heard I have Amber wrapped around my finger. This new beginning, driven by passion, okay? And this could also be, you know, the wand energy being linked to, like, the creative energy and just seeing the star here. I feel like for Tommy, this is like a wish come true. A dream come true. When she tells Amber that, like, I want to make memories with you. You're my person. You're my soulmate. She means that. And she meant it when she said it to the other person she was with before her. All right? She means it when she says it. This could also represent all the different, you know, energies that Tommy has been with over the years. Whatever. Um... Like, Tommy could really enjoy the fact that she... See, I feel... All right, general reading Fentane purposes only, but I feel like um, Tommy and Amber definitely were talking to each other before Tommy's person had crossed over. And I think part of Tommy uh, enjoys... The attention, or being with someone like Amber Lynn who gets so much attention. And again, dream, hope, wish fulfilled. I mean, Amber, you're my dream girl, baby. <laughs> baby Goyle, you're my dream Goyle. Have I got a fruit roll up for you? Come and get it. Come and get it. Come get it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yes, yeah, she's feeling real passionate about this. Yeah, and uh, this was this was something that I just felt like this was destiny 
Faha. Like, she might say that, Tommy. Like, like, it wasn't even a choice. <laughs> this isn't even a, my God, when they, when they come out and tell us whatever, she might, Amberlynn might say it like that. Or Tommy. Like, this wasn't even a choice. We're meant to be together, you guys. Uh, does feel like she has to protect herself, though. She could feel like some of the attention she's getting from this, you know, she has to protect herself from it. People like me, probably. <laughs> Saying, uh, and the strength card. Again, you know, really, she can't wait to... This is all about willpower, trust. Um, it's about putting our hand in the mouth of a lion. You know? I think she's... She enjoys and is enjoying having like control over Amber Lynn, okay? And you know what I'm saying. I think you know what I'm saying. All right, guys. Um, so I guess I will end this by asking, what is the next thing we might hear from Amber Lynn? What might we hear next from Amber Lynn? What might we see next? All right, well, guys, it was destiny. So we might not see, I don't know if this is making me feel like um, we might not see her for a minute because this person takes their time. I think she's in no rush to explain anything to any of us. I think that thing I felt before about here's a fruit roll-up for you guys, I think that's really how she feels. Again, general marine for entertainment purposes only. And that she's in no rush to defend herself or explain herself. And, like, she already knows everyone in Goyle World is already saying and is going to continue to say... How many times are you going to do the same thing, Amberlynn? Because this is the person that they've already been through. They've been there, done that, you know? And they're on guard, protecting themselves because they're probably going to do the same stupid thing again. <laughs> and the Wheel of Fortune. So, I think that right now she feels like the only thing she can control is like when she puts out a video or her little TikTok things. And, um, I don't know, this just made me feel the spiral, like an air of mystery. So, she, she might be purposefully holding back from telling us certain things. One, because she doesn't want her and her person to be judged by the audience as being energies that, that weren't patient, didn't take their time with things. Uh, on the bottom... Knight of Wands, again, I feel like this is just more clarification that Tommy is taking action and doing things for Amber Lynn. Um, and has no problem with that. Enjoys it. It's part of this person's, like, how they bond with their, with their partners. Okay? This is the Two of Cups. Uh, soulmate, soulmate. We're soulmates, you guys. Um, and this Hangman. So this is usually a person that I say is um, sitting in it, sitting in their feelings, feeling sometimes like emotionally compromised, spiritually confused, uh, but choosing to be here, like they choose to be in this position. It's uncomfortable. Um, Amberlynn could be, I know I, it's stupid, I feel stupid saying it, but Sometimes when I get this card for a person, I say, like, I don't know, this person could be physically uncomfortable. Um, if it's not talking about Amber Lynn, I mean, this could have to do with her in this short time spending, you know, this time with, with ta, you know, Tommy. That she's already gaining weight. Um, 
and she could be more physically uncomfortable than she usually is. And maybe that's, you know, but there would be some sort of like enjoyment, definitely on Tommy's part to be able to take all this action for this person. Like, oh, don't worry, you're hanging there, you can't move. I got you. Dun, 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 Where are you going, Tommy? Where are you going? Don't worry, Amber. I'll be back with more fruit roll-ups. All right. All right, that's the, that's the fucking reading. Um, yeah, this really isn't funny, though, you know? I actually think this is super sad. But that's what, that's the reading for now, guys. And I guess if there's questions I didn't ask that you want me to, leave in the comments and let me know. And, um, I'm sure we'll see what happens next. All right, love you guys. See you next time.